there's the woman of the hour. So this is the 60 cent solution. Mm -hmm. 464 orders already out the door. Her order is done. Strange place to find me. Uh, I screwed up. I'm paying for it now. <laughs> Good morning. First of all, can we uh, take a moment and look at this beautiful creation? Um, a viewer knitted this and a pair of mitts for me with my ball wool. Isn't she pretty? This morning, we're going to go on a little road trip because uh, Shannon has a few of my mugs ready, like half of the mugs ready. And she also has the kiln guy, the guy that's fixing her kiln. He's also coming today. So she was going to wait till he was gone to come and bring me those mugs. I'm like, how about I go your way? Because for once, I think so far, I don't want to say it too loud, but so far the barn is okay. So I'm going to head her way. And I said, can I take a few clips of your operation? And she said, sure. So we're going to go down there and uh, meet Shannon and see her place there. And then uh, I also have to go to the post office. It was closed yesterday. I forgot about that because it was Remembrance Day. And I have a little gift for a friend who's son is battling cancer so i wanted to send her a little gift pack because i know she's gonna have many many hours in the hospital so i was thinking of all the things that i appreciated when i spent my many hours in a waiting room i want to get that done this morning and then this afternoon i think if the barn doesn't need me i might just start boxing all these mugs because we pre-box everything so launch day isn't so crazy there's the woman of the hour that's the one that makes these for you guys mm -hmm. She loves me too right now, don't you? Oh my god, Sandy. I've never been on the video. This is full, by the way. Guys, we are in her basement. She does all this in her basement. These are the mugs that become your mugs. So look how big they are. Can I touch one? Uh, just be careful. I'm not going to touch it. It's not fired yet. How yes. do you get them to the stage? Like with your hands or is there a machine? No, like you mold this hands. with your hands? This is all done by What? Hand. I can't believe all your paint. So proud of you. So this is this is like the ghost scene where this they is like the wheel where all the, the wheel. magic happens. <laughs> so it turns and then you do your things with your hands. Yes. Oh my god. This is so cool. Just getting back from Shannon's. We had a really good visit. So I started doing business with Shannon because I have been following Nikki and Laurel and buying stuff from them that Shannon made. And I just fell in love with her craft, her stuff. She's so good at this stuff. And, um, and when I finally got to meet her in person, there was just like an instant, an instant connection. Like I really, really liked her. And um, today I went down there for the first time and we just ended up having a coffee and chatting like old, old friends. And uh, I love people in your life that you meet just sort of by circumstance and it ends up being just a great moment I guess I can't explain it just there have been people in my life that I've sort of fallen into literally and they're just they're just some of my favorite people and she is one of them so anyway I had a really good visit with her was able to convince her to show me her workspace uh, which she's very humble and she's very shy and uh, I didn't realize having the camera in there was making her very uncomfortable. It just goes to show you, I know a lot of people want me to like have this camera in front of everybody, like in people's face, and not everybody likes it. But she was gracious enough to let me uh, take some footage of just what she has created and you know, it's it was a hobby of hers that turned into a job and she's really just done local people that have used her as a service but she really started pottery because she loved it and uh anyway yeah she does one of those mugs at a time on that little wheel and uh it's quite a process um in saying that my husband is a bit of a uh engineer maybe somewhere inside him i think he likes to create things differently than i create things he has been looking at 3d printers forever him and jack and he bought one randomly last week or two weeks ago 
And yesterday I was going to start making more water boxes for my water bowls. And I had to chase him down to find a measuring tape, couldn't find one. And he goes, well, what do you need it for? And then I told him, he goes, why don't I just 3D print you a new plug for the outside? I said, will it do that? And he goes, yeah. So we experimented last night, brought one out and uh, it, it fit perfect. So I'll show you what that thing, I think I have some footage of the actual 3D printer that I can show you. Yeah, basically this is what it made. And Mark was like, well, I don't want it green, I want it black. And uh, yeah, this is it. So it's hard plastic, and I think he's gonna see if he can get like a, more of a softer plastic in case of the freeze-thaw situation. So we're gonna go and uh, plug this in and see if it works. Okay, so what we wanna do here, oh, we, got, we have the plug on the inside, but what was happening is the lambs could stick their nose in here and press it from the outside. So I made this water box on this side, uh, so this was our next idea. And I did try just a normal plug that came with the bowl, but it was too thick, uh, too deep. So Mark made this. And it fits perfect. Beauty! So the 3D printer was less than my computer, less than my cell phone. And the plastic it took to make this, I think Mark said, cost 60 cents. So this is a 60 cent solution, which we laughed about. So, yep, and this plug is still in perfectly flush. So we don't have to worry about this pushing that out, because I think Mark said he made sure there was about a half an inch space between this plug and that plug. So yeah, worked great. 3D printer. 3D printer in a sheep barn, who would have thought. I don't even think I said good morning to you guys. So good morning, like six hours ago, seven hours ago, the last time I saw you guys. Uh, the day has completely been taken away from me. <laughs> I always start my day with my coffee and a nice little list on my planner. And today is one of those days that uh, nothing is gonna get stroked off that list. <laughs> Our neighbors came to do our trenching in for the new build. So they're putting in the, um, the services today. So our 
power, um, water lines, it's getting stuff ready for the natural gas line. So um, yeah, it's supposed to get pretty moist over the next few days and this is like our last dry day. So everyone is here, our yard is a mess. It looks like there's trenches. It looks terrible. Um, and I just keep getting pulled. I had to go to town to get tile for Mark and then I had to go back to town to get plywood. So I'm just like running around with my head cut off. What I really wanted to do today, I really want to decorate the barn before the lambs start showing up. We have 10 days before the babies come. And I haven't actually walked the length of the barn since I got back here. So I hope there's no lambs. I don't hear anything. Um, but I'm thinking today, I have an hour. I think I'm gonna grab the Christmas tree and start setting it up. My lights are already up every year. I usually just straighten them up because the birds like to perch on them. Um, but yeah, at least we could decorate the tree. I think I've got some new decorations through the year people send me. So we will uh, try to locate what I can and then put up all our original ones that we've been getting over the years. Christmas, Christmas is here. Uh, as for Vlogmas on the channel, um, it is happening. I just don't know what it's gonna look like because we're lambing a bit early. So whether I lamb and sort of stockpile the videos so I can edit them when I'm not so busy lambing, that might be what happens. Uh, but we'll see. I'll be filming every day, but there will likely not be an upload every day. Typically what I do is like every other day, every third day, but we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how stressed lambing becomes. Vlogmas is my favorite, most favorite thing about being a YouTube creator. So let's, let's put up the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's disgusting. Only one casualty yesterday, though. Mm-hmm. Good morning. Wow. It is a gong show outside, and now I can see why Mark has been stressed about this whole situation. Probably since we decided to do all this. The timing has not been that great for me, just with this being the launch week. So I've been trying to get in and out of that room. The electricians are trying to work around me and I'm just like, oh my goodness. And now the internet got cut to the barn so my cameras aren't working. So I can't see if the lambing is happening. So it's just little things that you take for granted. Um, little things that you pick up technology wise that you're like, oh my God, how did I do this before? How did I run a farm without my cameras before? The good news is we still have internet to the house and to the merch room until Mark unplugged it this morning when I was working in there. So it's just 
more chaos, which I should be very much used to by now, but I awoke this morning with a really bad migraine, and I don't get migraines. I get headaches once in a while, but this is like nothing is helping it. Uh, tomorrow is our launch day, so I've been a little bit just preoccupied with that. Um, but yeah, yesterday I just kept getting pulled away. And then last night I went back out to finally do some merch work, and someone DM'd me on Instagram and said, Facebook is having a heyday with your account right now. I'm like, what? She goes, everyone is going on to your account and trying to shut it down thinking you're the fake. I'm like, what? So anyway, I was sort of trying to referee my comment section in Facebook. And Facebook, I'm not on it at all, barely, but I have an account. Like, I've got probably 80... 7,000 followers over there or something, but I just I haven't been on it for quite a few years. But it's always there, and it acts as sort of a cross-posting thing with Instagram. So I do all my posting through Instagram, and that it will populate Facebook. But I'm not over... When I say I'm not on Facebook, all I mean is, like, I don't spend time over there, like, going through my comments and, and doing anything over there. So I spent two hours when I was supposed to be doing my inventory checks trying to convince people that my Facebook account isn't the fake one, mine is the real one, and that the other guy named Sheep Shorts, or Sheep Short, is the fake account. To backtrack a bit, there's a guy on Facebook called Sheep Short that has taken a lot of my YouTube content and put it on Facebook as his own, and he's got like 62,000 followers. But um, just to clarify, I do have a Facebook account, I will put it here. This is my account. Um, I believe all my links, even in my descriptions, go to this account. This is mine. This is this is Sandy Brock, She Fishly Me, whatever I named it. Uh, the other guy's account is called Sheep Short. So I do apologize for <laughs> my Facebook fans. I didn't really know I had any over there because I don't check. I think that must have been bothering me because I should not go to bed with that stuff in my brain because that's probably why my head feels like it wants to explode right now. Um, yeah, for the rest of the day, I will be in the merch room, and I'll be helping Mark lay gas lines, water lines, all the lines. You guys, good morning, guys. Uh, happy launch day. I'm sitting here looking at 1400 people on my website at uh, what time is it, Lise? 12 03. Um, okay. I am under the weather once again, and we're pretty sure it's maybe stress <laughs> induced. Um, I had a migraine yesterday. I'm not a doctor that I couldn't really get over. And then um, it took me out today pretty bad. Like I was nauseous from it. So my sister drove an hour and a half cause she gets migraines. And I told her that I now know how she feels and she brought me a migraine pill and it's finally subsiding. I feel like human. You guys are amazing. Oh my God, 464 orders already out the door. Mexico. Oh. My God. We have uh, made it back out to the merch room and uh, right now, we're printing off the packing slips right now. The first 250 out of, I don't know, 1200 orders or so? 1100 orders? That is a lot. Um, so, usually what I do on launch day is uh, I do a little, everybody gets a thank you card for ordering. And the first, first few I usually just put on the vlog. So the first like five, we have Stacy, Suzanne, Allison, Sarah, and Ellen. So thank you guys, you get a little card. And a sticker. Where's my sticker box over here? And the winter collection sticker. All right, we put our orders and our thank you card and everything in these bins from here. So we go from here to here, and then Jess will grab 
the bin with Stacy's order. And then we're hooked up to ship station, so she is gonna use a scanner to scan the code. And then it comes up on the computer. Oh, she got two mugs. Two mugs! And we have the block mugs over here, and they're labeled on, yep. Her order is done. We heard the beep. Do you like Piper's coat? Hi, Piper. That's how cold it is in here, you guys. And then she'll put them in here. And then back there. And then I will take those and package them up. I'm going to grab these tape guns on your side. You don't need those anymore. So this is the would you use peanuts to just fill in the space there or paper just so they don't move around mm -hmm. peanuts peanuts, peanuts are easier but they're messy they had a girl electrician this week Jess. that's what um that yeah, she was cool her name was cass really yeah, yeah. yeah. Help him with the is election. she gone? I think she, so I think she's oh, doing the, I think it's like, a, a, must be like an apprentice. apprentice position. He said she had appointments or something. I guess I don't close this yet. Strange place to find me. I'm actually in the sheep barn this morning because uh, Sandy is down and out. I'm not sure if we, uh, Pushed her a little too hard through harvest and then her all her uh, merchandise launches that she did. The one that uh, happened yesterday, the Christmas launch, getting all that stuff ready and then getting ready for lambing. I just checked the uh, use this morning here and there is no lamb so far. So I'm on tap to feed them this morning. Uh, we'll make sure everyone's happy here and uh, I think I'll actually be in the merch room helping pack packages uh, after I get chores done. So uh, bear with me. I'm not Sandy, but I'm in the sheep barn. The uh, worst part about this situation is I uh, didn't bring any glasses. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, about a year and a half ago, my eyes crapped out and I have to wear glasses to read everything. And I think my arm is long enough. I can actually muck through this situation. Well, apparently not having my glasses is a detriment because the uh, first batch I went to mix, uh, I screwed up. <laughs> I put too much uh, haylage in the mixer. So I had to uh, switch to another ration that could handle that amount. I think we're good. Other than the birds, it's the uh, content sound of fed silence. I didn't make too much of a mess, hopefully. I, I don't clean up like Carissa does, or Sandy. Uh, and they're good for bedding today. I'll probably bed them tomorrow if Sandy's still not feeling good, but no lambs yet. The uh, pregnant girls are doing well. Everyone seems to be up and eating. Their ears are all perky and they hate me. So they always run away. So that's why I'm on this side taking a video. Cause Sandy won't want me to scare them into labor. Some people may actually ask why I'm never in the barn. Normally I'm in the barn if something's broken and I have to help Sandy fix it, uh, or uh, she's not feeling well. And Chris isn't around to do chores. So I am capable of doing chores. Uh, I used to help more before Carissa was around. Uh, in 2014, when Sandy broke her leg, uh, I had to lay him out like 200 some views, so I can do it. But this is Sandy's realm. She's the animal person, I'm the plant person. So 
Uh, we can do each other's jobs. We're both very capable. Um, but there's just some stuff that she likes better and there's stuff that I like better. Anyways, that's probably just a quick answer for some people probably asking, why is Mark never out in the barn? Come, how come Mark never helps you? I can, and I will if she asks, but she's a very capable woman. So, cross the road and chores are done. Good evening. I don't think I've said hi to you guys today and I apologize. I have hit peak uh, exhaustion. Well, I don't feel like I have, but my body is suggesting that maybe I need to slow down a bit. Um, I've been blessed with a three day migraine. And if it wasn't for my sister these last couple days, I would, well, I would not be turning on the camera right now because I would be flat in my bed, crying, sobbing. Um, this is new to me. This whole fall, I've been getting this, these little ailments that I've never had before. So um, migraine is a new one to the list. That's just wonderful. Um, so people that struggle with migraines chronically, both my sisters struggle immensely with migraines. My oldest sister had them really bad growing up, and then it sort of switched, and then my younger sister had them basically since she had kids. And I have been the lucky one, haven't had migraines, and... This is the first time I've ever had them, and they are, you can't do anything with a migraine. I've never felt so sick. I don't know how they affect other people, but they were making me really nauseous. Um, so yeah, I couldn't do anything, and, and uh, she brought this pill yesterday. She has migraine prescribed pills, so she brought me one of those, and it cured within an hour, and I was like, oh my god, what is that? That's beautiful. She said something, it opens up your capillaries, like it opens up your blood vessels so you don't have your migraine. She left yesterday and then it started sort of kicking in around eight o'clock. I went to bed at like 8.45, woke up at 10.45 and then I was awake all night with this crazy headache. So anyway, Mark did chores for me this morning, bless, but I have not seen my use. So I bombarded him with questions like, did they get up to eat? Are they eating good? Do they look okay? Was there anybody down? He said, no, everybody was good. So thankfully he did that and then he came directly into the warehouse with the girls and they all shipped all morning for me. And then I uh, came to life around 12.30, had a shower because I was disgusting and uh, came out and helped for the afternoon and just picked orders for people. So this is what we have so far and that's day one. The one thing is Canada Post went on strike the day of the launch and it floored me. Like I was, I was really upset um, because number one, they're the only ones that can ship to a PO box. And number two, um, shipping with carriers can get really costly internationally. And the other thing is there was a lot of double orders we're putting together. So that takes a lot of time up front. So all day yesterday, we went through emails and went through orders. And then uh, we tried to put as many orders as we could together. Because I think what happens is I would do this too. If I wanted to get a mug, I would go on the website right when it opened up and then I'd just go back in later and get the other stuff that wasn't selling out as fast. So I see why people did it, but on our end, it's tricky when there's like pages and pages of orders and we got to go through and make sure we try to sort of combine orders. So yeah, we tried our best to um, find everyone we could and, uh, and put your shipping it all together in one package to save on that. But yeah, I'm just, I'm really sorry. I've, this vlog is gonna be so disjointed and I have to say that is just how I'm feeling this week. I'm really disjointed. Um, this has been 
this has been a lot between this and the advent calendar and the fall launch just being back to back to back and then really harvest in the middle i'm just i'm so done and i've got lambing in seven days like a week today we could have our first babies probably any day we could have our first babies so yeah it was just it was a little too much for not very many people and i'm just i'm very very grateful that i've got a good team on on actual packing and shipping days but all the pre stuff i think has just really taken a toll so i'm paying for it now anyway it's been a good day and i just want to thank you guys so much again for for this this is crazy and uh every launch just blows me away with with your support and yeah it's it's just a side of this whole thing that i never thought i would ever do or want to do. It's all because of this, it's because of you, and I'm truly, truly grateful. I wish I was feeling better so I wouldn't, I wouldn't seem like I'm not. I'm, I'm not my best self right now, but once those little babies come, I think I'll be uh, much, much better, hopefully. Mm -hmm.